Technology has been really important this two years in keeping me connected to friends, and I'm extremely grateful for that. Throughout everything I've done in my career in technology, I've been really focused on helping people feel that technology is more their friend. This is Buck Woody. I've been told not to start a sentence with the word so, so I won't. Welcome to Technology and Friends. Sometimes technology can bring friends together, and sometimes friends want to come together, and technology helps that, but you actually want the technology to get out of the way. Either way, technology and friends work together. Remember, friends don't let friends misuse technology. You can make technology, and you can make friends, but no one can make a David Giard. All my friends know that I love technology. Technology is greater with friends. I already said technology and friends. You want me to say it different? Use your technology to make more friends. Technology is always better with friends. My favorite part about being a software developer is getting to build cool technology with my friends. This is how I use technology to stay in touch with my friends and keep myself sane. All my friends are in technology, so should I meet more people? Or? Technology innovation is better than with friends. Technology education is a fantastic way to make new friends. The greatest thing that I've found about being in the technology industry is the number of great friends that I've acquired over the years. Galleries has helped me use technology to share my galleries with my friends and help my friends share galleries with their friends. I've had a great time talking about technology today with my friend, David Yard. David, uh, who, needs, who needs friends when you have technology? I like technology. And I like playing KC7 with my friends. Thank you so much for being my friend in technology. This was awesome. Thank you. Use technology to build your personal brand and make new friends. I'm happy that you and I have mutual friends in technology like Dan Ray. It's been fun today to spend time discussing tech. Knowledge people are great friends to have. David, you asked me to give some folks advice about uh, technology. And so the best advice I've given to people is that uh, friends don't let friends use technology ever. Yeah, thank you, David. It's a pleasure. And it's always great to talk about technology with friends. So thanks for the conversation and look forward to more in the future. Dapper, it's cool technology. So please share with your friends. David, I asked ChatGPT to help me with this one. Technology has made it easier to stay in touch with friends, but it's also made it easier to pretend we're not home. The best thing about radio and software defined radio and all that is that it, it's a whole bunch of technology that you can explore. And there's all these friends that you will meet on the other side of that technology. You should go check it out. And eventually, I do hope that at one of the technologies we talked about here will be used by my developer friends. Microsoft is empowering uh, all each person in the world uh, through the unique technology to make the world is better. And um, Friend for Technology is better initiative and great opportunity for that. Keep your friends close and your technology in its proper place. I love technology, but you know what? I love my friends even more. Thank you, David. I'm happy to be one of your friends and sharing this technology with you. You know, the best part of What the Hack is that it's a team-based activity. You don't learn alone in isolation. You have to sit down with your friends and really learn the technology together. And that's what makes it a great, great experience. I'm thankful today for the fact that technology was able to bring me and my friend David together to have this conversation. David, I really think that AI is a technology that we can, I hope, be friends with. My technology community is full of knowledge and thankfully they're all my friends. Building technology and building friendships. That's what a conference is for. Technology can bring us closer to our friends, but it can also expose us to cyber threats. That's why we need, we need to learn about cybersecurity. There's nothing better than learning about cool tech that you're passionate about and sharing that with some of your best friends. Through technology, I have made so many friends and I hope you guys do too. I've been very fortunate 
that technology has allowed me to make a lot of wonderful friends. With great technology comes great friends. Friends, we have such a unique opportunity to do more, to go faster, to go farther tech together through the use of technology. Yeah, David, it's been a great interview. We've been friends for many, many, many years. I do remember the first thing, um, which uh, was a conference in the U.S. where technology brought us together. Uh, it's been great. Uh, looking forward to meet you again. Thanks so much. I always say at the end of my talks, do what you love and, and love what you do. And I think that's uh, you know well played out in the, the concept of technology and friends. My personal motivation is uh, find great technology and, and data and uh, work with people that, that you like uh, and you can't go wrong. I love how technology helps me be connected to my friends. I know that I enjoy technology and I love that technology allows me to connect with my friends wherever they're at in the world. We appreciate the opportunity to be on Technology and Friends. This has probably been said a thousand times, but I think the thing for me is that technology has generated me so many different friends. Now I had, technology has given me the benefit of traveling the world, of meeting so many different people and generating so many new relationships. And, and that I like, I really love about the, the industry. As we mentioned, uh, David and I got to know each other last week at KubeCon. And the great thing I love about being at KubeCon was to meet so many friends that I've had in the technology space and also to make new friends. I didn't know David before. Now he's one of my friends and uh, it's been a fantastic experience. Really appreciate it. Hey, uh, I, I told my friends that I have a joke about construction technology. Uh, the problem is I'm still working on it. David. TFS is dead, right? Team Foundation Services is dead. So long live to long life to technology French and and Scotch as the new TFS. Technology French and Scotch. I think one of the things I really love about being in this technology field is so many friends that I have made along the way. Um, David, you're one of them, obviously, but I literally have friends all over the world. And I think I talked about how we travel a lot. What I do when we travel is we are constantly going to see friends all over the United States and even around the world. We just went to Germany last year. Again, saw some of my old people that I worked with at the technology company there. So to me, it's all about technology and friends. Figure out how to use it wisely. Figure out how to use it effectively. And, you know, technology will be your friend. You know how, how that you've heard that say all your life, cobbler's children have no, no shoes. <laughs> For me, you know, my friends are always trying to recommend some technology or another, whether it's Nest or, you know, something to automate your home. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that. I do enough technology during my work day. As a technology professional, you are able to benefit from participating in an active community. And you won't just meet new colleagues in the community, you'll make new friends. This is important with in-person events starting back up. Check Meetup and LinkedIn to see what community events, user groups, and conferences are coming up near you. In the modern technology landscape, distributed systems dominate. And when something goes wrong in production, good observability is a must. So friends don't let friends build distributed systems without open telemetry in 2022. I love working on accessibility projects in the technology industry. The community of people that have a passion for developing accessible technologies uh, is amazing. And I've made some of my best friends um, and, and coworkers in that space. So get involved in accessibility if you're at all interested. We have a lot of friends and a lot of technology. <laughs> Don't we want some technological friends? Uh, that's good. <laughs> Hey there, my name is Jeff Fritz, and I've been just finishing recording a session here with David, and we've been talking about live streaming and brand new tech conferences coming up like .NET Conf. I, I want to encourage all of you out there to come out, generate a live stream, tune into one of our live streams, check out .NET Conf, where you're going to learn all about technology with my friends. So one last thing. Um, you remember that TV show, Friends? Yeah. Um, can you imagine... What would happen if they had today's technology in that show? There would be six people sitting in a room with a phone. Look at this meme. Oh, friends like friends work with technology, but technology and friends is the way to go. Technology is always better.
with friends. Friends, technology, need I say more? Cheers. Technology has knowledge as part of the word, and I love sharing knowledge of technology with friends like David. Well, here's the best thing about technology. I have made friends, really amazing friends, friends like you, as you know, for decades now, thanks to only one thing, technology. Bye, friends. Thank you so much for learning about sustainability and technology with me and David today. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new and looking forward to you guys watching more episodes and learning more about technology with David. I like to have a nice cup of coffee. And I love talking about technology with all my friends, especially when it's about leadership. I mean, it's been a, it's been a strange time these last couple of years. And I think the, the one thing that has really helped uh, is using technology to connect with friends. And, you know, whether it's playing games online, whether it's using Teams, uh, whether it's just chatting about technology with people that are similarly interested. I think that, you know, technology is, has kept us in touch with our friends. And I think that's super valuable. Fluid is the technology for collaborating with friends. If you want to work with your friends or play with your friends, use the Fluid Framework technology. Social media and communications technologies have made it possible to form friendships in brand new ways. You can become friends with someone from around the world and never meet them in real life. And whether they're shallow or deep, these friendships can be very real and very meaningful. Treasure them, nurture them, and celebrate them. They can add great new dimensions to our lives. Let's make friends. David, thank you for having me today. Uh, it's been great sharing new technology with old friends and uh, look forward to seeing uh, how you uh, adapt some of this technology into your, into your work. My life, um, my goal in life is to improve happiness through data and the work that I do with that data. And so I would love to use technology to empower others to make meaningful change in the world. And I also would love to make some friends along the way. So this is what I really about, like about our technology. Like the community around our technology is so big. And, and I really love this community because like I've got a lot of friends in the community. I make a lot of new friends in the community. Whenever I go to a conference or like to a user group, like there's so many people that want to talk about our technologies and want to le learn and share around it. So, and this is a perfect example, like this podcast, like it's a perfect example of how that community comes together. So it's, it's funny when uh, we're thinking about technology and friends, uh, I was thinking about what I was going to say here. I turned to some of my friends and I was like, hey, what should I say about this? And I realized that the vast majority of my friends I've met through the tech communities, through these different things, um, like some of my closest inner circle. And now that I live out here in the middle of the woods, it, like those friendships and those relationships have been even better. So uh, I've made some great friends. I look forward to making some more friends through tech community and technology itself. Thank you. Like a good little nerd, I have friends in all sorts of areas of technology, uh, building trebuchets in uh, software development, um, radio, ham radio, building uh, maker space. And that's uh, these are some of my favorite people I love to be around. Uh, some of the most important moments of my life have included uh, technology that has made people, everyday people, um, better at their jobs, better at their social lives, better with their connections with friends. And um, I intend to be a technologist uh, for the rest of my life because I just love the space. I love how it informs culture. And um, it's kind of part of my mission uh, to make, uh, make the earth, the world, the space we have to live in uh, a little bit better. I've been fortunate that some of my best friends that I still have today are technology experts that I've known for 20 plus years. And I think part of that is because I've been with the same company for so long that I've formed those deep relationships. And so, yeah, it's not uncommon for us to get together outside of work. And I'm, I feel very lucky to have that in my life. It's really fun sharing this this new bleeding edge technology, you know, everything from containers, orchestration, infrastructure, all these different pieces together with new friends like you, David, and friends that introduce us to these friends like Mike. So big shout out to you and to Mike Feldman for making this introduction. And it's been really great chatting with you. It's an interesting story 
how I got into the technology industry. So when I was in high school, I loved playing video games, computer games, building my own PCs. And when time came to go to college, I wasn't sure what I was going to major in. So I had two majors. I had finance because I thought, well, I'm decent at math or computer science. And luckily I had friends that were already in computer science classes and they said, hey, Andy, why don't you just join us? And that's the uh, that's how I got into computer science. Oddly enough, they dropped out after <laughs> out of the major after <laughs> a few weeks or no, a few semesters. I shouldn't say a few weeks, a few semesters for their own individual reasons. And I I was like, I'm already so deep into it. I'm just going to finish it. And I still enjoyed it and I'm really happy how it all ended out. I think it's really interesting when we talk about technology and, and how it relates in our industry. And uh, we have a thing we discovered during the, the pandemic was that uh, talks aren't great, but hallway tracks are. It's great to talk with your friends, and I think we should do that more. I've been working in information technology for about 20 years. And the reason I got into that because it made sense. You know, you're dealing with computers. They are perfectly understandable. At least I thought so. Uh, and it's interesting. I, I was talking to my friends. I was really thinking about, okay, I have a perfectly logical uh, place to work. I can make sense of the out of things. And interesting thing that happened over time is that it become less and less about the actual technology a lot more about the people and process and what you deliver rather than the technical details that are involved. What I try to tell friends of mine about careers in, in the technology industry is to just explore all avenues. I'm a designer, but design is not the only role. There's, you know, development is not the only role. There's cybersecurity. There's so many roles that fall with under technology. Um, it's just really important to know what's out there, know what's available. Don't do just what you see someone else doing just because it, it you know, they have a, a technology um, title next to their name. There's so many different roles and they're all great to check out and explore. Well, thank you, David. I really appreciate it. It's been great to talk with you. This is a very exciting topic. And I appreciate being able to share with everyone because uh, just by talking with you and seeing these great videos, you're making me learn how technology is not only great to keep in touch with friends and to keep connected, but also make friends through technology, this shared passion of people like us, of coming here and learning about a cool subject like this one and spending some time together. So I really appreciate it. Hello. So hello, friends. Hello. Hello, everyone. So. Today we are doing technology, but as you are, you guys already know that because of this video of 47 minutes. Um, also, don't forget to look at the Izzy Academy channel on YouTube um, for technology with AI. It's going to be coming soon. It's not there yet, but it's going to be coming soon. And this is Pinky. Whether it's I'm flying or writing code or riding a bike or what um, technology is just everywhere and I'm, I'm always amazed at what people can do what we can build um, we can fly we can push electrons across the world um, you know and yeah it's great to have friends like you david and friends like other pilots i've met and longtime friends in the, in the software industry um, to enjoy all these experiences. Thank you very much for listening to this great podcast about technology. And friends. Great. And thank you, Dave, for having us on the show. This is the best show ever made. It was really great being here. Also nice being inside when it's cold. The biggest and most important thing you can do with regards to how you use technology is to talk to people that you know, people who know more than you, people who know less than you. Everybody has something that they can teach you. So make sure that you talk to your friends 
about what types of things you use in the world and what type of technology you like to use. Yeah, my problem is that uh, I got into technology, so I wouldn't have to talk to people. And uh, yeah, uh, and it's funny because uh, writing and coding and developing turns out to be an incredible social uh, experience. I, uh, I I count my the start of my career to working on open source projects and getting in touch with really high quality people on open source mailing list and you know proving my credentials, getting friends from that sort of things that I've been friends with them for decades at this point. Uh, it's really funny. The from I don't want to talk to people to I love talking to you. I love talking to people. I think one of the things we don't really realize as programmers is just how big the gulf is between how we use technology and how everybody else uses it. About a year ago, I did this out of curiosity. I um, went around and asked a bunch of my friends how they would take a paragraph of text and render it in all uppercase. So obviously for you or me, that's really easy. You just like load into a programming language and do like string.up or whatever. And you know what the most common answer I heard from my friends was? Retype the whole thing in caps lock. So I think like it's really important for us to sort of have that both that humility and that awareness that like the world is really big and we are only seeing a small slice of it. And there's a lot that we can do to basically just make people's lives a lot better, even if it's not like all the big exciting things that dominate the news. I spent I spent a I spent a um I spent a few months once just like going through doing IT for this one nonprofit and just like removing bugs from all of their like sorry, like removing bullet from all their computers and they said it was a huge benefit. And I just think about that a lot of like how much more we could be contributing and helping people, but we just don't realize it because we're just so, we don't realize that people need this kind of stuff. One of the most important things in open source software right now, is, I think, is to make the distinction between open source software that is sharing technology with friends and building a corporate commons. And I think both of those things have their place and are valid. But when discussing what OSS should or shouldn't be, I think we need to make that distinction and not conflate those things. Today, it's one of the most incredible times I can remember to, to be a technologist. The era of AI has really kind of reinvigorated me uh, and my team personally, um, and as a group to, 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 ex to experiment, to explore, to evolve ourselves. Um, but one thing I'll say about technology is that it's not just about the tech, it's also about who you get to do it with. So inadvertently at Trace 3, we've built a community, we've built friendships, uh, and the fact that we get to play with technology and do it with, with people we love, um, the, the power of those two things uh, makes me wake up every day. I'm, I'm happy to do it, and uh, I can't wait to, to see what we achieve together. Well, we, we have been, we're hopefully coming out of this pandemic, and I'm, I'm seeing the resurgence of in-person events, and that's awesome. Uh, but over the last two years, a lot of us have made friends virtual, right? Friends that we've made over, you know, Zoom or, or Teams uh, that we've actually never met. So I was thinking the other day, what kind of friends are those? Are those I friends? Are they E friends? Or just friends? So that's my contribution to uh, that uh, question. Uh, think about that. In the world of technology, when things are changing so fast and there are so many exciting things out there that we can play around with, it's great to have friends. So then you learn from one another, you bounce ideas off of one another, you form communities. Um, we never want to be fighting because there's no sense of fighting because things keep changing. So the best is to take advantage of the time of your friends, of your peers to learn and enjoy the ride. Technology and friends are most important part of my life because uh, I have a lot of friends uh, and, and, and then many of them are very important in my life actually. Uh, and uh, I am so excited and obsessed about technology part and how technology is solving the problems uh, for, for the world actually. So I'm, so the both things play a very vital role in my life. And the important part is that a lot of friends who 
taught me technology. So there is some relation between that as well. To be a friend of technology, uh, I think one of the things that we need to do is avoid putting technology in the wrong space or putting things on technology that are more appropriately put um, on other things that interact with technology like people. And I think that responsibility and accountability um, are, are two such things. In related to what we talked about today, a big part of my career on Agile and Scrum and um, really kind of the business of how we develop software and try to uh, create quality products. Um, the phrase I wrote a lot about in the pages of Code Magazine over 20 some odd years or, or, or a conference talk or whatever has always been people, process, and tools in that order. And there's a reason why people, people come first. Um, and, and it's only people that can really determine and make those critical decisions on the what, where, when, and why, and how of, uh, of why we're implementing a given piece of technology, you know, are we, you know, how we're deploying it, or why are we doing what we're doing? Um, I, I think that if we want technology to be a friend for us, to be a real asset and an ally for us, and, and to really make it do the things as a tool should help us do, um, if we're a friend to it, uh, because like it or not, it also includes the misery of people that implement, that have to implement technology in the wrong way. So if we deal in facts and if we deal in what purpose something is fit for, we're being a friend to it, IT, <laughs> no pun intended, and it's being a friend to us. And then we can, uh, we can be happier. So I guess that's, that's sort of it. That's, that's kind of how I, I view it. And, really has nothing to do with technology, does it? La technologie, les amis, technology and friends, it's been a great time. Thank you, and I'd like to come back. Cheers. Merci beaucoup. techno friends -ology. Thank you for watching Technology and Friends.